Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from vdemon.com and I am back with another SQL Server 2014 video and in this video we are going to learn about SP underscore help DB system store procedure. So let's start. Now what is SP underscore help DB? Why we use SP underscore help DB and how to use SP underscore help DB? The first question what is SP underscore help DB? SP underscore help DB it is a system store procedure to retrieve database related information and the syntax is SP underscore help DB database name database name uh, the providing the database name is not mandatory so let me open SQL Server Management Studio and this is again uh, we are in SQL Server Management Studio we are learning about SP underscore help DB and this is the syntax of SP underscore help DB when you are not going to provide any database name and if you want to retrieve any database specific related information then you have to use this syntax now let me execute sp underscore help db and check the output execute and this is the output when you are not going to provide any database name it is going to list down all the available database so in the output you are able to see the database name the size of database right now my adventure works is using 207.25 MB of my disk space the owner of course the owner is me myank underscore sangvi myank and the database id is 8 the created date for this database is 24 Feb 2015 the database is now right now online so it is going to show all the available status for a database so this is status online update ability read write user access multi user recovery simple version 782 collations and all the other information you are able to see in the status and the compatibility level is 120 now what if you have to find any specific database information then you have to use sp underscore help db database name this syntax if you want to find anything about a specific database so this is test underscore is my database sample database or test database and we are going to retrieve all the information for this database so let's execute sp underscore help db space single quote your database name and single goat. Let's execute this and now you are able to see the information related to a specific database and our database name is test2. The first output is same it is going to show the name, database size, owner, DB ID, created date, status and compatibility level. Apart from SP underscore help DB when you query for a specific database you can get a more information about the particular database and in this you are able to see the database file name so test2 is my main mdf file test2 underscore log is my ldf file and this is my file id and you can find this is the path of my file so it is f program files microsoft sql server msql 12 teo 14 is my instance name msql data and test2.mdf the type of file it is a primary file or secondary file the size currently it is using i think approx 3 mb of my disk space the maximum size the allocation of disk space is max unlimited so it is able to use unlimited disk space the next is growth when my allocated space is full then i have to grow my database with 1 mb and usage is data only the second is my log file size used, max size, growth is 10% and log only. So this is about SP underscore help DB and if you want to know the data type of all the output columns then here it is. Now the first column in case so let me open my output and I I want the data column data type so the name the name is this name database size is n back at 13 owner is again sys name dbid is a small int created is a n back at 11 status is n back at 600 the compatibility level is tiny int okay the next is 
for our in case of specific database the name again is not it this time it is not a system it is ancare 128 the field id is small int file name is sorry this is a file id file id is small int file name is ancare 260 file group is anware care 128 size is anware care 18 max size ancare 18 growth is anware care 18 and usage is where care 9 so I hope now you are able to understand how to use sp underscore helpdb, why to use sp underscore helpdb. So that's it for this video. If you are still any, if you have any doubts, just leave it in comment section. I will try to reply as soon as possible with proper resolutions. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on subscribe and like button, share with your friends and see you all in next sequence of our 2014 video.